Hey, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Destiny and I thought we'd do a thread up unbox unboxing. I haven't been ordering these as much. Let me put my computer to sleep. I haven't been ordering these as much because thread up is now charging $9.99 shipping on all boxes. <laughs> my son's looking for me. Anyway, so um, I did get a $10 credit from ThreadUp. They were just giving them out the other day. Mine worked on rescue boxes. One of my friends said hers didn't, but then it did, so I'm not really sure. So I haven't actually looked at it yet. These cost $32 plus $10 shipping, so for 10 items. So to me, it's not really worth it. pay um around fifty dollars after taxes and stuff for these but i had the ten dollar credit and i thought it'd be fun to do so i'm gonna jump in looks like some jewelry here i'm sitting at my desk because um the floor is still covered in my 200 pounds which i will be uploading soon okay we have a necklace of some sort there is a little piece in here oh it says kate spade on it okay so this is a kate spade necklace um okay this is obviously apparently too complicated for me all right so it has some black white and clear gems on it i don't think these are real but i am not an expert but it does say i don't know if you'll be able to tell it doesn't have any markings as far as like gold or silver it is gold tone but and this little bitty piece right here it says kate spade and then there is a little um spade piece so that's nice i'll check and make sure all the little gems are in there i got some bubbles i got a bra this is just Auden. Uh, i think that's how you say that this is from target it was 17 dollars. this is a size 36c And bras do sell well for me. I can still list this. It's a front clasp, but it doesn't want to clasp. Okay, there we go. So it's red. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. Red. And then it has a lacy back. Where did I put that? Oh, I just put it right here. I don't want to get that too tall though. All right, we have some socks. You say semi holly socks. They look like they've got lace at the top. Made in China. Looks like two pairs. Okay. Got some slippers. These are size medium. It says Jacques Moret Buzzy Baba slipper socks. Okay, they just look like this. I might keep these for around the house. Alright. We have the obligatory scarf. It is, that fell over so that didn't work. Fear Bradley, which I think it's a scarf. Yeah. So at least it's branded. It's pretty floral, like peonies on there. We have a wallet. This will be a short video because not a lot to these. Okay, this is like an unbranded brown wallet. No brands anywhere. The belt. New with tags. A new day from Target. This was $20. There's a faux leather kind of crocodile skin belt. Let's put this back in the box. Okay, we have a cute wicker bag. I've gotten a few of these in my past. One was J. Crew. That one did really well. The other one didn't have a brand, but I think... No, it hasn't sold. It's still hanging over there. So this one I don't see a brand on either, but it's really cute. Maybe it's wicker. Feels nice quality, and it is lined on the inside. Yeah. I've got two more items here. I've got a pair of glasses. Sorry for the quality of this video. It doesn't look that great. Okay, we've got some glasses. This says Quay Australia Q. It's quite hard for you to see that Q U A Y. 
They're actually kind of cute frames. Obviously, I can't see anything because they don't have a prescription in them, but I don't know anything about that brand. My glasses are actually Lily Pulitzer brand. I'm not usually a Lily girl, but I just like these. All right, last but not least, hopefully we have a two-piece pajama set, size extra large. These did retail for $40. It's called Joe and Better. So yeah, this is definitely not my best fun box, but honestly, not my worst either. So would this be worth $50? No. Was it worth $34? Eh, maybe. I think the Vera Bradley scarf will do okay. That wicker bag will sell. Maybe the glasses are good. I'll keep some of this stuff. So it's not a bust. Maybe this Kate Spade necklace is worth something. But definitely not amazing, and I would not recommend paying $50 for these. But I have had some really good ones. I had one that had a necklace that has a panda on it, and it sold for over $100. And then I had... There was another fun box item that did really well. I can't think of what it was. But I've had some really good items in these, but it really is a mystery. And sometimes you get Target stuff, and... Sometimes you get a gold mine, so I would personally wait till they do free shipping if you can snag one of these. But if you just see them up on the site and you want to grab one, I definitely get that too because they are fun. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.